My name is Dave Zolna. I just watched a little uh, video clip on Western Center for Journalism and it had to do with General Ham. Apparently, uh, the Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, has removed General Ham from any further responsibility and he's been forced to retire and he's replaced General Ham with a General Gonzalez. And I don't know who General Gonzalez is, and nor did I know who General Ham was. What I do know is that General Ham's a true hero. And the reason that he's a hero is because he was ordered to retire. And the reason he's ordered to retire is because he tried to disobey a direct order from uh, the president or the person that pretends to be the president or the person that's in the White House that says he's the president, I'm referring to Obama. What's really sad is that most politicians, they obtain their position uh, of power by being elected. And the way they get elected is they convince their constituents that uh, they will serve and honor their uh, wishes of the people that elected them. And what we found is that that's not what happens. Uh, once they get into, into Congress uh, as a senator or as a congressman, uh, they are self-serving. Now. A military person that reaches the level of a general has spent the majority of his life serving our country. And I think it's disgusting that uh, the president of, the, uh, of our country, uh, the President uh, Obama, uh, or the imposter Obama, is, is able to destroy a general's life by doing what he did, by forcing him to retire, when that individual spent his entire life serving our country. And I'm just flabbergasted that something like this can happen. And the reason, again, he was forced to retire is because he disobeyed a direct order. He was ordered not to try to intercede, not to try to help. Now, see, the problem is that our president has no military experience. He doesn't understand what it means to serve. He doesn't understand the bond that's created between men that put their lives on the line in defense of our country. And I personally think it's wrong that any president that doesn't have a military background should be the commander-in-chief. I mean, that's like putting Obama at the controls of Air Force One. It would just crash and burn. That's what he's done to this country, crash and burn. He has no experience. He was put where he is with one objective, and that is to create the havoc that he's created in this country. If you take a look at what he's done throughout the entire Middle East, it's all going towards Sharia law. And guess what? If he's allowed to remain in power, that's what we'll have here. It's time for him to go. Only you, the American people, can do that. I can't alone. We all have to go out and vote. We have to vote him out of office in a landslide. Let's humiliate him the way he's humiliated our country. Thank you.